president, as you know, is about to head overseas for the G7. Should he stay put and not go? Look, the president is the president of the United States. He can make his decisions of what's best and how to use it. The president has now. What has changed in this meeting is the president changed the scope of who's all negotiating. Instead of all the four leaders, it's really he's finally taking Leader McConnell's advice that he's applied to him. The same advice you gave to President Trump that it worked out, same advice to um, President Obama and others. Appoint somebody from the president's team who can work with the speaker's team to see if we could come to an agreement. That is what the decision was made in this meeting. So the structure of, of um, how we negotiate has improved. So it now gives you a better opportunity, even though we only have a few days to get it done. Had we done this back 97 days ago, we'd already have a bill passed. Yes, ma'am. Look, uh, great question. As you really know, is for many times the White House and the President would say Republicans are going to cut the veterans. We would say that was a lie. Today, out of appropriations, it was proven it was a lie. We actually increased spending for our veterans. It's like any other household. You prioritize where you spend your money. The real question is, how much debt is too much? We're at $32 trillion almost. 120 percent of our GDP. That means it's larger than our economy by 20 percent. This is the equivalent of your child having a credit card and they hit the limit again and again and again. And every year when your child hits the limit, all you do is increase the limit. Well, it comes to a point now that you can't afford it. So do you just increase the limit again or do you actually take a serious thought of where you're spending your money? You're still going to fund the things that are most important to you, but you're going to eliminate the waste. Maybe you don't go to Starbucks every single day. Maybe you don't waste the money that we, the president just now appointed uh, individuals. We will set. I would like to meet today, actually, and just start meeting until we get this done. Yes. Well, that's all up for negotiation. Inside the Republican um, bill, we lifted it for $1.5 trillion. I mean, when you think about it, the spending has gotten so far out of control, we already borrowed $1 trillion this year. And think about what that means to the average American. We are borrowing money. We are borrowing your future for things that are being wasted upon today. For more than a trillion dollars, that means China is funding this. We need to change that behavior and make America stronger, less dependent on China, and actually curve inflation.